primary thing we've used it for is um, an area that they term um, asset retirement obligation financial planning and uh, basically what that is is um, in our industry which is electric power industry byproducts of the combustion process to produce electricity um, things like fly ash and, and other um, materials that uh, you know uh, do not go into the atmosphere but you have to remove them and then you have to either uh, dispose of them or store them for a certain period of time and at some point in the future either upon plant closure or depending on whether or not your storage facilities are nearing or reaching capacity you're going to have to do what the government requires you to do either EPA or state regulatory bodies are going to require you to depending on the, the nature of the hazardous material whether it's hazardous or not could leak into the ground supply you know, water, um, you have to do some planning for how you're going to close those um, storage sites and um, make them kind of a green acres um, uh, concept that, that they will not affect the environment. Number two, you know, can they be used for other you know, societal uh, purposes or even can you do something with being able to put um, capital infrastructure back on that site? Um, in other words, it'll be usable. A large part of that is, is um, the huge uncertainties, um, primarily among three factors in planning for the financial obligation that you're going to have at a date forward that you're not certain of. Um, so primarily the uncertainties in that are say, okay, how do we do our financial planning? We know we're going to have to have expenditures of certain dollars to cover the resources necessary to close these facilities. In a, in a safe and environmentally sound manner. Um, we don't know exactly when that's going to be, if ever. Um, a, um, a lot of this material is now starting to be recycled into uh, you know, concrete products and even road building and, and other things. So uh, we have basically these um, uh, storage areas, these ponds, if you will. You can store this material, but then we take some out at a certain rate. So you have to look at the rates of, of uh, filling your storage facility, the rates of extraction, if that's being used. Um, you have to predict, let's say, depending on um, you know how much of this material is going to come in in the future. And what you don't know is that if you are going to close these, when is that date? It's going to be you know 20, 30, 40 years uh, forward. So that's that's one uncertain variable that uh, that we put in the model. And of course, we're going to do multiple scenario. We do do multiple scenarios with this, and that's why you use that risk. Uh, so you don't have to do it every time you know in a spreadsheet.